Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today we're going to be talking about Ethereum, and we're actually going to be looking at some on-chain analysis. So a lot of people have been requesting this for Ether. I've done it somewhat for Bitcoin. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump into on-chain analysis for Ethereum. So if you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon to turn your notifications on. And if you want to discuss these charts and maybe download a couple of them, then come join the Telegram channel, which you can see up here or you can find in the description below. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in. So here we're showing, um, you know, we're first gonna just start with the total number of, of daily transactions. So this is just the, the number of daily transactions versus time. So, you know, it's interesting. Um, and if we were to say draw a trend line, you can see a you know, an upward trend that takes us from, you know, July 2015 all the way out till January of 2018. And after this point, we've entered more of, say, some sideways action. So this is, you know, our bear market and our accumulation phase. Um, clearly, for us to ultimately move up to, say, a new level in terms of, say, price discovery, then we would, we would ultimately need to get above this line and to start trending back upwards. We want to see that real-world adoption of Ethereum. Um, I think this will help drive the price upwards. Now, if I didn't, you know, if I didn't cover the, the number of daily transactions with respect to price, who would I be? Um, so this chart is showing the price of Ethereum versus the number of daily transactions. And the data points are color coded in time. Uh, so this would be say February of 2016, August of 2016, March of 2017. So we're moving in time from 2015 to the dark red is say 2020. So you can see in terms of price, you know, if, if you plotted the price versus number of daily transactions, you can see that the price was increasing you know, almost monotonically speaking, with respect to the number of daily transactions is more or less just going up. Um, and then ultimately at the end of this bull run that Ethereum saw from 2015 through the end of 2017, the beginning of 2018, um, you know, we saw the number of, let me move myself over here. We saw the number of daily transactions, you know, reach this peak uh, around the time that Ethereum also peaked. So, you know, the push to a thousand dollar Ethereum was also accompanied by, you know, more than a million transactions per day. Okay, if that if that makes sense. So um, I think this is quite insightful. You know, it's it's a lot different than what you'll, you know, the analysis that you'll typically find out there um, because I'm, I'm looking at, at some of the on-chain data and comparing it to price. In a, in a way that I think um, hopefully makes sense to a lot of people. Uh, so you can see that after this blow off speculative bubble peak, we ultimately retraced and we not only retraced in price, but we also retraced um, in the number of daily transactions. You can see that we came all the way back here, but if you look closely, you know, you can see these darker red points that correspond to present time. They're slowly starting to move back up. Um, and this is what we want to see. We want to see us slowly start to trickle back up because if we can, you know, if we can really reach these um, daily transactions of say, uh, you know, 2 million a day, 3 million a day, we're likely going to see the price start to really start moving with that um, in, in tandem with that. So if we were to say draw a trend line here, um, not that these imaginary lines mean much of anything, but you can kind of see where you know they're they're ultimately going to converge theoretically speaking one day in the distant future where you know i mean you can't just the number of daily transactions just can't go up by orders of magnitude indefinitely um but it can go up you know for at least the foreseeable future and if we were to extend this line out to say daily transactions of 100 million so imagine 100 million transactions in in a day um you can see that this would also correspond to a converging price, you know, somewhere maybe around fifty thousand to seventy thousand dollars per Ethereum, um, and at ten to the seven. So if we were to get to say ten to the seven daily transactions, then it would likely correspond to a value of Ethereum of between you know three thousand to ten thousand dollars. And if we were to just show on this plot 
where a $10,000 Ether would be, which I think is certainly on the cards. I mean, maybe not exactly 10,000, plus or minus a few K, what's a few K among friends? I mean, we're all buying in. You know, many of us are, are dollar cost averaging in now, hopefully dynamically if you follow my channel. Um, and again, if you wanna support the channel and, and get access to some of that premium content, then, then check out the Patreon page, which you can find a link to in the description below, as well as Pay With Crypto if you wanna do that, which is also in the description below. But um, getting to this level, it would have to be, it would most likely have to be associated with the number of daily transactions increasing in a, in a commensurate manner. And you know this would this would really show this real world adoption that, that people really want in the sense that okay, more and more people are, are starting to use um, ether and as a result, it's also driving the price higher. Um, so ultimately I think you know you might see something like this where we the, the number of daily transactions you know kind of moves sideways for a little bit and then ultimately starts picking up steam to a blow off top out in say 2023, 2023 plus or minus like, you know, six to eight months or something like that. Um, and this is where, you know, I think this blow off top could happen. And whenever I make these videos, naturally a lot of people think oh, this is just a, a crazy future valuation of Ethereum, uh, you know, but at the same time in the crypto space, we've seen these cycles occur several times. Ethereum has only been through one of these cycles. And the move that Ethereum already made from, you know, less than a dollar up to over a thousand dollars is is you know much more significant, I think, than going from say two hundred to ten thousand. At least in terms of say your ROI, I mean that's un that's indisputable. So it, you know, a lot of people think these ballpark numbers are crazy, but then what will happen is the is the mood will subtly shift. So in, you know, in 2020, people are probably going to think this is insane. In 2021, people might slowly start to think, okay, maybe. Um, by 2023, assuming this happens around 2023 or so, uh, then you'll have people thinking that this is a lowball number and that likely it's going to 50,000 or 100,000. This is the dumb money speaking and they're, they're very loud and you will see them everywhere. But the people getting in today are likely the smart money. You know, this is not financial advice. This is just my, you know, own analysis of the market, but the people getting in today, in my opinion, this is the smart money. At some point in the future, we are going to reach a paradigm shift, I think, in the in the valuation of Ethereum. This is when the dumb money will come in, say that it's going to 100K. And this is also the time where I think the smart money is going to be taking profits and, and running away as fast as they can until they see this blow off bubble um, start, you know, pop and then come back down to a, 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 you know, a more sustainable level in the short term. So something like this. So you could see it going up and then coming back down to a, say, a, a fair valuation of Ethereum of like maybe two or three thousand dollars or so. This is just a, you know, a rational perspective. I can go ahead and tell you now that if you're watching this video in, say, three years, uh, you might, you might you know, understand what I mean, because people are going to, that, that FOMO is going into, into the market. Smart money is going to be selling, dumb money is going to be buying. Um, I also want to show the price versus the hash rate. So, and this is, you know, they're in this situation, they're both on log scales. You can see here, they were both log log as well. Um, but if you look at, at this chart, we've also color coded it in time. So again, going from 2015 to 2020, this is you know going from 2015 here, over in this region, we were in around 2017, 2018, and then we've kind of curled back around to present time in 2020. And um, you know, this is, you know, it clearly shows that, you know, as, as the hash at the speculative bubble peak, we get all this new interest into Ethereum. The hash rate continues to go up in the short term. Uh, while the price goes down and then ultimately the price follows and then we kind of have this accumulation area but um, So these trend lines I don't really think are, are that accurate. We only have uh, You know, we don't really have a ton of good data to measure by um, But you can imagine again if we put on a ten thousand dollar Ethereum and Show something similar show us, you know, the hash rate increasing slowly to over ten to the six 
um, and note the note the units here, um, then it could correspond to say ten thousand dollar Ethereum, and then ultimately retracing uh, back down a bit like we did here. So imagine say this crossover. So we we come up, we peak, hash rate goes up while price slowly goes down after the bubble. Uh, price lags behind. We have this bear market and accumulation phase, and then ultimately we build up enough strength to push through and we continue on our path. See something like this happen again. Peak, speculative bubble, hash rate goes up while the price goes, goes down. The price eventually compensates another bear market accumulation phase. And then if we you know, redraw this line based on say this and this, and it would look something like this, so we can imagine it ultimately converging as well. Um, and then again, maybe we'll do the same thing. But note that the distance between these will likely decrease um, because it's going to be harder and harder to move up orders of magnitude on this chart. Um, so consider this and then say, so this basically shows a, a $10,000 Ethereum. And I'm basically speculating that this would occur, say, 2023, uh, maybe plus or minus a year uh, or so. Um, and then, you know, this bear market would be later than 2023. So the 2023 refers to the peak. The bear market will likely be in, say, 2024, 2025, 2026, slash, like, accumulation phase. Um, and then we would ultimately go back up over several years. And then the next one would likely occur in maybe 2032, plus or minus a couple years. Um, and this would, you know, this could potentially take us to, say, a thirty to forty thousand dollar Ethereum, but this is again over a decade from now. And if you're con if you're confused as to where these numbers were coming from, uh, there's a there's a video on on the homepage of this channel called Bitcoin: The Evidence for Lengthening Cycles. And I think if you watch that video, it'll clear a lot of this clear a lot of this stuff up. The four year cycle, I believe, in my opinion, is a is a uh, just a, a complete misconception of the market. Um, based around uh, the halvings and whether you want to say it's based on four years or a certain number of blocks is irrelevant. I, I think it's, it's, it's going to be much longer than four years as we go forward. And remember, I mean, knowledge is power. Uh, so the more knowledge you have, the more informed your decisions can be. Um, so this is why I like to show all this you know, data in a different way so that people can consume it in a way they're not used to. Um, so please take this into consideration. Um, again, if you guys like the channel, check out uh, the Telegram channel here. Also, subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it if you if you want to get access to premium content, to check out my Patreon channel. It's just patreon.com slash into the cryptoverse. So I basically have two tiers. One is $50 a month. With this, you'll get access to a weekly newsletter, risk analysis, which is based on a risk metric I've developed for Bitcoin and Ethereum and a few other coins, um, various valuation insights, logarithmic regression. I'm fairly active in the private Telegram channel, so people will have requests. And then a lot of times the, you know, the, 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 what happens to these requests is they ultimately get made into videos that either go on the public channel or sometimes they're, they're patron only videos. Um, for instance, we just covered what is statistically speaking the best day to buy Bitcoin. And, and next week we're going to be looking at, at statistically speaking, what is the best day to buy Ethereum. Um, so these, these subtle shifts in how you, um, you know, enter and exit the market can really make a huge difference. And it's, it's not my, it's not my opinion. It's just based on, based on data science. I'm simply the messenger of the data. So if you guys like that idea, if you want access to say Google Sheets um, with analysis on various cryptocurrencies and traditional assets, including this risk analysis that you can use to dynamically enter and exit the market, then check out patreon.com slash into the cryptoverse. And um, this is what most people I think should sign up for. And then the $300 tier is, is more so for people who want that one-on-one -on -one communication with me. Um, so please check that out. If you don't want to use Patreon, you also have the option to pay with cryptocurrency. Um, and you can find information on how to do that in the description below. Um, but if you do that, you'll need to pay for um, 6 to 12 months because I'd have to manually process that. And I would prefer just to, to do it all up front. And by doing that, you actually get a, a small discount because you're paying up front. Um, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Again, please subscribe to the channel. I want to grow the channel. Share the video with some of your friends, um, like the video, 
and I'll see you in the Telegram channel if you guys want to discuss these charts and, and maybe download a couple of them so you can uh, see them in, in higher resolution. So that'll wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.